Some of you may be wondering why President Trump decided to get us out of the Iran deal. Well, let's discuss it. In 2015, the United States and President Obama, along with various other countries, signed the Iran deal. The deal was created in order to make sure that Iran can never have the ability to develop nuclear weapons. The IAEA, which is the nuclear watchdog of the UN, was given the task as the enforcer of the deal. Let's just say they have a spotty record at that particular task. France got the bomb, but don't you grieve, because they're on our side, I believe. China got the bomb, but have no fears. They can't wipe us out for at least five years. Who's next? Israel's getting tense, wants one in self-defense. The Lord is our shepherd, says the psalm, but just in case, we better get a bomb. <laughs> who's next, who's next, who's next, who's next? The Iran deal has been lauded as the only thing standing between Iran and a nuclear weapon. One of the chief reasons for optimism is its unprecedented inspection regime led by the IAEA. For instance, they can inspect any site at any time. Well, as long as the Iranians don't designate it a military site. And after the Iranians exhaust their official inquiry as to why that site was chosen in the first place, followed by a 24-day mandated wait before inspectors are allowed into the site at all. The actual time from inspection request to boots on the ground, well, that may take several months. And the Iranians, they know how to use their time wisely. In 2003, the Lavizan facility in Iran was outed as a nuclear weapon site. The IAEA sought permission to visit the site a year and a half later. In the interim, publicly available satellite imagery showed that the entire site was raised, including the removal of the first six feet of topsoil, eliminating all traces of evidence. The IAEA, after inspecting the scrub down site, was satisfied, and they considered the matter to be closed. But I didn't. Now, I'm not a nuclear expert, but um, I am playing one in this movie. You, you have a Lavizan. There was a satellite imagery that showed evidence of, uh, of a nuclear weapons program. Explain to, to, to the audience why uh, you felt the need to then uh, you know, dig the first top uh, six feet of topsoil, remove it, and then recover it up. What will, what will be the reasoning behind that? And that is closed, and clearly the IAEA report, Director General says that that was absolutely incorrect, and there was no evidence of nuclear material, nuclear activities. And you can read the agency's report in the IAEA website. But, but that report is meaningless because you dumped all the evidence. No evidence, you can go to the website, and if, I, uh, if you're interested, I can show you and give you a copy of it. Then why, why, why raise the area and then cover it with, with soil? Look, uh, I, I think that you're bringing an uh, obsolete issue, but well, How I, is that obsolete? Uh, that's very old stuff. The important thing, as I, I go back again, rather than you and me discuss about it, it is better to leave you the experts, inspectors. It's supposed to sound the alarm when uh, illicit nuclear activity is, is discovered, but so far, it's been very reluctant to do that. I think it's, it's established, it's clear, you're not building nuclear weapons. I think you made the argument very fine. But if you did build a nuclear weapon, what country would you blow up first? The question is wrong. So I have your word, you're not building nuclear weapons? Certainly, 100%. So like, I like, reject any of these allegations. Like the IEA, that's good enough for me. A way out is to have a, a timeout. Iran will take a timeout. The international community will also take a timeout. Germany Let the United Nations handle this incompetently. In supporting the idea of a timeout. And allow Iran to have nuclear weapons. It was all about process. It was not about results. The results were worthless. Now, are they intending to kill someone, or they, are they only intending to defend themselves? But how do you know whether they have that intention or not? It's impossible no, to, <laughs> to say no, such and such a country has that intention. No? Then again, what is the intention? Only God knows. No, exactly. And uh, anyone who reads. So Americans can sleep soundly. Not only Americans. I hope that everyone else also can, That's true. can, can, can sleep soundly. The IEA is on the, is on the watch. Yes. Process is an outcome at the UN. It 
it as a way of avoiding and kicking a problem down the road. A single country like Iran can play to that. They can say, all we need to do is buy some time. And the Iran deal did just that. Hi, I'm Marissa Streit, CEO of PragerU. Did you know that PragerU is a nonprofit? Every dollar you give on the donate link below will go directly towards marketing this video.